So today we are going to talk about Android NDK using the C++ native library. In our application, there are two text views. The first one is the result coming from the C++ library and the second one, the result also coming from the C++ library, have some processing in Java, got the result from it and then append some result in C++ and returns back to it. So let's get started. Let's first check out the diagram. This is the activity class. And then we have a JNI bridge. And then we have a C++ file. So activity communicates with the JNI bridge. And then JNI bridge communicates with the C++ class. And then back. In our example application, the first thing that we will do is call the C++ function first from the activity. So activity will call the string from JNI function to the JNI bridge and then JNI will call the string from JNI in the C++ class. And then after processing, the response will be returned to the JNI bridge and then JNI bridge will return the response to the activity which will be shown to the user. And then the next thing is we will call the process. The process will be called to the C++ class. So in the process method, uh, there is a requirement that something needs to be fetched from the activity. So how that can be done? So C++ will communicate with the GNI to process it in Java and then response will be returned f from the GNI to the C++ class that it is processed in Java and this is the result. And then C++ will use that result and then process it and then returns back the response to the JNI, which is this one. So this is the processed in Java, which is the response of the process in Java method. And then C++ will also process it within itself and then returns back the response to the JNI. And then JNI will return the response to the activity, which will be shown to the user. Let's start off with creating a new project scroll down to the bottom and there you will see C++ hit the native C++ and click on next name our application which will be native CR click on next and then we can choose the default chain or either the specific C++ version just go with the default one and hit the finish okay after the project is built the first thing you will see is static block. In the static block, native library will be loaded before the activity is shown to the user. So in the left pane, you will see a new directory that is C++, CPP, and then we have native lib CPP. So head over to that. This is the very basic file containing only one function. Okay, so let's first arrange it. So this is the external keyword and then we have some keywords from the JNI. And then the most important thing that you have to take note is this one. So first of all, this is telling that it's a Java and then we have a package name. So if you can see that it is com example native CR. And in if we check out the package, so our package is same as this one this should be same and then we have a activity class name which is this one main activity and then we have a method that will be called from the activity when this method will be called from the activity this hello from c++ will be returned and then in the activity text view will show this result to the user so in the activity class, you can see that this method is called from this native string method. If you want to call any method of the native C++, we have to use these words, these keywords, public, native, and then the return type. And then we have a method name. This should be same as this one. Let us first run this application and see what user will see. 
by the default one. As you can see, the result is coming from the C++ library, which is this one. Hello from C++. Let's make some changes in this one and see if the changes are reflected. Add a smiley, hit apply. Perfect, we can see the changes. The first method is working. So now let's create a second method that we have discussed in the diagram. First of all, copy this line. You can copy the whole one. And then paste below it is saying that it is the duplicate one so this is the method which we have to change change it to process and then we have to remove the definition of this method and then we have a j object in the second parameter Let's create a parameter. So this is a J object of this main activity. So name it as main activity instance. So in this method, remember we have discussed that this process method will call the method from the main activity to get the results in some sort of string. So let's create that method here first. This will be a public one and return the string. And we can name it as process in Java. And then this will return processed in java perfect so this is the c++ method which needs to communicate with the jni so here is the jni environment the first thing we'll need to create a constant here and this will be of j class type and the name of this should be main activity class and then this should be from environment and make a pointer here this should get object class and then pass this instance here Now we have this main activity class, which is this one. Now we to now we have to get the method from this class, which is this process in Java. Again, create a variable j method id. So getting the id of the method, this should be environment, and we have to get method id. Sorry, get method id and then the first argument is the class which is our main activity class and then we have a name of our method process in java copy and paste as a string and then the third argument is the return type just follow me here our method returns the string type so that's why it is a string type now we have to execute this method before executing the method let's check if it is not successful which is null pointer we have to return the empty string Call the environment variable and then 
and then pass empty now we have to execute this method result of that java call object method and then the first argument is the object which is our main activity and then we have a method id now we have a result but its type is object so we have to convert it to the string type so this is a java message and then we have to call get string utf chars the first argument is the result and then cast it to the j string so the second one is whether it should copy or not now to mimic that uh, something is processed in c also using this result so let's create a c message here which is result from java and then we need to concatenate this string which is the first one is c message and then we have a java message and then last we have to return the message and then we have a message dot c converted to string perfect now just we need to display it in the text view so just call binding dot sample text to and then we have to set the text so here we need to call the method process this one create a method here native and then the return type is string and name should exactly be same as this one process and then we have a process now just we need to call this method here done let's see our application is working fine or not now we should see two text view the first one should print hi from c plus plus and then the second one should print result from java perfect as you can see the result is coming and both text views is showing the correct results all right this completes our video today if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks